And so with XDCam open, first thing you want to do is under preferences, um, make sure that the import location is set up for your, um, I suppose, for your external hard drive. So on your Untitled Drive, um, I had actually created a folder called Sony XDCAM Import. So if you choose that one, and then choose New Folder for each source, add a source name, add a clip title, um, and any other bits you want. I'd say leave Overwrite Existing Files turned off. You can choose Open Imported Files with Avid Media Composer, but it may not work. Um, the cache is just where it's going to store thumbnails and stuff. It'll probably ask you that when you first launch the program. Um, but it's just a preferences type thing. So that's all done. Then we choose to add a clip to a source. So we'll go to your drive to a dentist appointment. And then if you select all the folders that have videos within and choose open, you'll notice that they all appear on the left hand side. So what I'll do now is select all of the clips by shift clicking from the bottom to the top one and then I'll do command and A or Apple key and A um, which adds them all to the viewer then press import and all of the clips will then process and import and I'll show you how much they've done just there. So all of those files have now they've all gone in so if we launch Avid and we can go to File, Link to AMA Volume, and if we actually tell it to go to um, the Sony XDCAM Import folder, press Choose, and then tell it to have a single bin based on the selected folder, and it will load every single clip within all the subfolders in there, so that way you don't need to delve into each of the individual videos. And that's it done.